Greetings and welcome to this video introduction to the course American Literature 1, Colonial Period to the Civil War. This is just a very brief video to introduce, introduce you to this course that I will be teaching at North Shore Community College. So what is this course about? Now I can read you that very dry, dull introduction about literature and particularly American literature and blah 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 blah. And that's going to put you to sleep. So what I just want to emphasize here is that the course is learning about choice, opportunity, and challenges while getting to choose your own path and determine your own means within the course. So this course is set up in what's called a hybrid flexible model. Um, no, not that kind of hybrid. And definitely not that kind of hybrid. Uh, the hybrid flexible model is a course designed to empower students to determine where and how they learn best. The hybrid part means that this course mixes face-to-face -face learning with online learning. The flexible part means that students will get to choose when they meet face-to-face -face and when they meet online. It also means that they will have some choice when it comes to readings and assignments. So students have this wide array of choice when it comes to assignments in terms of what readings they write about, what kinds of major assignments they complete, uh, what kind of final project they want to complete. So the, the idea is that there's a lot of choice for students to kind of figure out what works best for them. Uh, students also get to select the majority of text they will read throughout the course from a potential from a list of potential readings. So the idea here is also that you get to choose some of what you get to read rather than just saying, here, you have to read this. In addition to that, um, it's worth noting that there are no textbooks. There are no book requirements required purchases in this course. Uh, it's a big philosophy, philosophical viewpoint of mine to not make students pay for even more because they've already paid for the course. So in addition to that, your course assessments, uh, kind of what you would be doing in the course to to define and identify success. Uh, you would be regularly contributing to our course blog. You would be regularly participating in discussions and um, actual participation in classes. You would have two major assignments, a research assignment and an interpretation assignment, but within those you would have several different options of what that would look like. And of course you would have a final project. And a, you have a choice around the final project that has that allows you to choose one of six or seven different types of projects, depending on what you're more comfortable with. Um, and then there's lots of opportunities within the course for extra credit, so that if you're you're having trouble in one area, there's opportunities for you to compensate in another. So this is how the assignments are or the assessments are laid out. And so the question is, of course, what do you get out of it? Well, you get to learn about the historical, cultural, and intellectual traditions of American identity and literature. That's pretty cool. Um, and then you get to connect those traditions to one another as they relate to American literature. Uh, within that, you get to analyze different types of literature, such as essays, poetry, and fiction. Uh, and finally, you get the opportunity to improve your ability to critically evaluate and discuss complex ideas. That's pretty awesome. But wait, there's even more. Uh, you get the opportunity to be challenged intellectually in a safe environment. You have the chance to improve your written, spoken, and thinking skills that apply beyond the content of the course. Uh, you get to have access to a lifelong learner who is both passionate about the subject matter and his students learning. Uh, that would be me. And of course, you get the opportunity to be part of a learning environment that explores and discusses the rich and vibrant traditions of the United States. So that's the breakdown of the course. If you have further questions, my email is up there, leeton at northshore.edu. And this is, if you look in the left-hand corner of the screen, you know, the course will be running this spring 2015 on Mondays and Wednesdays from 4 p.m. to 5.15 uh, on the Danvers campus. So please register today and let me know if you have questions. Thank you.